Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Finn tells Bridget in Eric's hospital room that he's concerned about her dad everything at the moment. She is reassured by another doctor that they are doing all in their power to save Mr. Forrester, who suffered significant blood loss. Bridget says, I'm just wondering whether Ridge was right and we should have let him go, remembering that they lost her father. The second doctor exits after Finn thanks her for coming. Worried, Bridget hovers over her father. She doesn't want to watch her father suffer like this. She wants him to return to how he was. When Donna and Brooke arrive, Bridget exclaims, Mom, with Finn, is Eric going to pull through? Is Donna's question to her, pressing her for the truth. As for now, Bridget explains, they just don't know. When Finn says he's requested further testing and lab work, Donna becomes apprehensive. They'll just have to wait and see, says Bridget. At the Forrester office, Ridge says to Zend, I know I am, that his dad would be very moved by his offer of assistance. Zend summarizes that the only thing his grandfather can do is work. They are unsure about his prognosis. He is confident that they can complete his collection if they cooperate. RG lacks experience enough. He has time, but not right now, not with Grandad's parting words. Zendi begs Ridge to give him an opportunity. This endeavor requires seasoned personnel and is essential to Eric's legacy. Ridge contends that Eric decided to collaborate with RJ. He stated, But we could use your help. He started this and needs to finish it. When Steffi enters, she asks if her father is prepared to visit the hospital. They go out. Luna tells RJ how excited he is about his dad, requesting him to help finish his granddad's collection when they are at the design studio. He actually wants to cooperate with me, wonders RJ. He gives Luna his sincere gratitude and they share a kiss. James, a staff member, enters and informs RJ and Luna that Eric's story has been picked up by the media. After thanking him and sending him to coordinate with Katie, RG walks away. RG admits to Luna that his need for more time with Grandad makes him feel avaricious. Although the rest of the family hasn't yet arrived, he's still got to spend time with him. Luna gives him comfort. After entering, Ridge and Steffi take RJ to the hospital. Tell Eric that Luna is sticking with the faith, Luna asks him. Donna is supported by Brooke in the hospital corridor. When Ridge, Steffi, and RG enter, they discuss how Eric crossed over to the other side before returning. Ridge gripes because he didn't want this. This is what we desired. I could have avoided this for him. Donna replies, I need him, and that he must return to them. Ridge groans and says, They all need him, but right now he's linked to machines. Walking up, Finn and Bridget report that there was no change on the panels. Finn says that he still has trouble breathing on his own. Ridge is furious because exactly what his father didn't want is to be kept alive by machinery. RG walks over to Eric in the hospital and shakes his hand. These hands have created some amazing artwork and very classic designs. I hope you are aware of that. He turned to face him once they had finished working, saying, I can't tell you how much it meant to me. RJ, in tears, tells Luna how much he valued learning from him. It's not your turn to fight, he tells his grandfather. There is so much more that you can give the world. I'm not quite ready to part from you. I'm not. Zend tells Luna in the design office that he was trying to find RJ. She reports that he, Ridge, and Steffi had visited the hospital. Zendi makes the occasional trip, but it would be great if Ridge extended an invitation to him. He occasionally feels that he belongs in this family less than entirely. When James returns in search of RJ, he discovers that Katie is using her phone to work. He informs Zen that everyone is rooting for his grandfather before walking away. Zen is informed by Luna that she doesn't believe his family would want him to feel excluded. Though Zen is aware of it, it's been difficult to overlook lately. Luna is aware that Ridge requested RG to assist him in completing Eric's line. While Zend isn't attempting to disparage RJ, 
This line requires years of experience rather than just a few weeks, he said, but I'm not the chosen one, in an attempt to respect him. Luna tells Zend she knows he's disappointed and puts a hand on his shoulder. RG leaves Eric's room in the hospital and Steffi and Finn enter. RG is informed by Brooke and Ridge that it was difficult for him to witness his grandfather in that way. Donna starts crying. Ridge expresses his pride in his son. They must band together and accomplish what Eric would have them do. Within Eric's medical room, while stroking her grandfather's head, Steffi sobs. She hears Finn say, He can hear you. She is aware of that. There's something special about us. We have always done so. Perhaps it's because she has the name of his true love. She informs her grandfather that the family is strong and resilient because of him. Even though she now has her own family, life won't be the same without him. Is it selfish that I want us to fight, she queries. Must struggle to return to us. To me, she doesn't want him to suffer since she knows he might be at peace right now. Perhaps her father was correct. Is it her fault that they disregarded his requests? I truly apologize, Grandad. I truly apologize. She begs him to depart if he so chooses, saying, I'll understand. I'll be all right. She gives him a kiss before sobbing in Finn's arms. Zend implores Ridge to give him a chance. This project is crucial to Eric's legacy and needs seasoned professionals. Ridge argues that Eric chose to work with RJ. He started this, and he needs to finish it. But we could use your help. Steffi walks in and asks if her dad is ready to go to the hospital. They exit. In the design office, Luna enthuses with RJ over his dad, asking him to help finish his granddad's collection. RJ marvels, he really wants to collaborate with me. He thanks Luna for being there for him and they kiss. An employee named James comes in and tells RJ and Luna the news about Eric has hit the media. RG sends him to coordinate with Katie, thanks him, and he leaves. RG tells Luna he feels greedy because he wants more time with Grandad. He got to spend time with him but the rest of the family hasn't even got here yet. Luna reassures him. Ridge and Steffi come in and take RJ with them to the hospital. Luna asks him to tell Eric she's keeping the faith. In the hospital corridor, Brooke supports Donna. Ridge, Steffi, and RG come in, and they all go over how Eric crossed over to the other side but came back. Ridge complains that this isn't what he wanted. We wanted this. I could have spared him this. Donna says he has to come back to them. I need him. Ridge grants that they all need him, but he's hooked to machines right now. Finn and Bridget walk up and report that the panels showed no change. Finn explains he still can't breathe on his own. Ridge fumes that the thing his dad didn't want, to be kept alive by machines, that's exactly what's happening. Archie joins Eric in his hospital room and takes his hand. These hands have made some great art, some truly timeless designs. I hope you know that. When they stopped working, he turned to him, I can't tell you how much that meant to me. Crying, RG says he told Luna how much it meant to him to learn from him. He asks his granddad to fight. This isn't your time. You have so much more to offer the world. I'm not ready to let you go just yet. I'm not. In the design office. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.